Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. I greet you all this morning in the name of Jesus. Not because we know how to greet or how we can talk, <clears throat> but it is the grace of the Almighty God. We want to salute you this morning. We want to say shalom. And we want to pronounce the blessings of the Almighty God upon your life. Be tremendously blessed today. And whatever you need in and whatever you desire this morning, I want to encourage you, my brother, my fellow brother, servant of the Almighty God. Let's reach out to the Lord this morning. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is unchangeable. And whatever we need is right there to provide to every need. Let's take God this morning and His word completely. I want us to pray together before we read the word. We had news yesterday. Our precious pastor, Yevil from Cape Town, passed away, the man of God. Let's pray for his family. One of our elders in the Eastern Cape, uh, Brother Dingan, also passed away yesterday. And also our pastor Campbell's family, let's remember them also in prayer. They also lost a loved one yesterday. Let's continue to pray for all the saints of God around the world. There are family this morning that are in pain. There are family this morning that have lost a loved one. There are someone out there that is sick. There is somebody out there that is in a hospital suffering because of all these diseases and these demonic powers that is going around, destroying. Amen, hallelujah. Let us continue to pray for all these brothers and sisters. And if you have an unspoken need, just slip up your hand this morning. Remember, it's Thursday today. Don't forget to put in all those prayer requests. Today is the day whereby we send in all the prayer requests. Don't forget, tell somebody. It, it, it might not be for yourself. This prayer request might not be for yourself. But I want to encourage you this morning, my brothers and sisters, send in these prayer requests. Whatever the need is, whatever the sickness is, send in today these prayer requests. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, the body of Christ will be gathering together around the world and they will pray for you. Don't feel ashamed. Whatever you need is, whatever your heart's desire is, make sure this morning that you continue to send in all these prayer requests. Let us pray together this morning. Heavenly Father, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we wanna continue praying for your, for your bride as a group of people Lord, we love your children. Father, we want to continue remembering all those families that have lost a loved one. We want to pray, O oh God, that you touch them and heal them. And Father, that you do something special for them this morning, O oh God. We pray that you undertake for them and all those unspoken needs and all those requests that will be sent in this morning. We want to pray, O oh God, may they send it in, Lord, as we will forward them, and as we will share them with the rest of the world, so that the bride of God can pray, Lord, for all these different needs. Father, you are in control. And we want to put our full trust once again in your hands, Father. May you bless us today. Bless also the devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. We want to appreciate you for your love, 
your prayers. May God richly bless you. And we want to just pronounce the blessings of God. Remember the topic, the little inspiration that we are sharing this week with you. It's all about expressing, amen, the attributes of God. It's not a sin, amen, hallelujah, to give somebody a loaf of bread, to, sh to share what you have with somebody else. Remember, it takes me back in the Bible days after Jesus spoke to these many crowds and people waited for him, moved with him for many days, and how he would ask his church, his disciples, Amen, what do you have to feed these people? They've been with us for about three days, Peter. Master, we have none. We only have a little. And what a, what a Jesus, what a compassionate God. Amen. He took those few loaves of bread. He took that few pieces of fish. He prayed, he lifted up into heaven and he prayed, he dedicated, he gave it back to God. You might wonder how will you be able to help somebody? Brother, you don't have to have much. The little you have, it's all about how much of God's attributes are you willing to express? And I want to tell you this morning, God is waiting for us to move. Many times we wait for God to move. God is waiting for you to move. The moment you act and you start doing something, that is the very moment when God steps on the scene. When, when those few pieces of bread and that fish ended up in the hands of God, it, it was not that little fish and that few pieces of bread anymore because it was now in the hands of God. And my fellow brother and sister, whatever you have this morning, no matter how little it is, if you can put that little into the hands of God, you will be able to feed 5,000 people. You will be able to share with many out there but the problem is, we look at our little and we wonder, will this little keep us as a family? Forget about the little. Take that little and put it in the hands of God. Remember, we're talking about the attributes of the Almighty God. The Ayan Skapa van God. There's nothing in this life, in this world, amen, that can overcome the attributes of God. God is groot, dear brothers, brothers and sisters. The Psalm, Psalms chapter, Psalms 34, verse 8. The Bible says, let's read from verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear the Lord and deliver them. Listen to verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Gesiend is the man wat in God vertrouw. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. The Bible clearly says that God is a good God. And the word reminds us that in this world, we will always have trouble. It is not always good. It is not going good every day. We have our struggles. We make our mistakes. We have many failures. But that does not say that we should not express those attributes. Amen. It's not always good. And many days can feel really bad. But remember the attributes of God rises. And I want to underline that this morning. The attributes, there are days, amen, that are really bad. And you feel to quit. You feel to give up. I want to encourage the ministers 
the missionaries out there, sometimes you have your bad days. Maybe you are full time in the ministry. You don't have a stable income. You don't have an income like others. But I want to encourage you, my fellow brother, stay focused, stay on your knees. Some days are good, some days are bad. But I want to underline this, my brothers and sisters, the attributes of God, as many as they are today, they rise above our struggle. They rise above our pain. They rise above our suffering. The attributes of God, the qualities, the characteristics of God, it rises above our struggle we face here on the earth. All of the problems, the eigenschap of God, overweldig onze problemen en onze strijden. He is a good God, as the Bible says. Taste and see how good is God. He is a good God. That is one of his attributes this morning. And I want us to remember that we have still many, many of these attributes to share with you. And God is a good God. His, uh, his ways are good. Though we sometimes wonder where the goodness is, in the heat of difficult times. Though we sometimes wonder where the goodness of God is, the Heere is good, brothers and sisters. Praise the name of the Heere. Let's find a way in this very difficult crisis time that we are living in. You might just have a cup of black coffee and a piece of brown bread, or just you just might have just five pieces of bread and two fishes this morning but I want to say this morning God is a good God the year is good hallelujah though we sometimes wonder where is the goodness of God and I want to remind you this morning amen that God is a good God in the bad he's a good God in the good he's a good God when there is sickness he still remains a good God. If there, if there is pain, He is still a good God. If there is suffering, He is still a good God. He cannot change. The year can never under me. Let me continue quickly. Amen. Hallelujah. Though we sometimes wonder where the goodness of God is in the heat of difficult times, but remember He promised that He is able to work all things Amen for our good. In the book of Romans 8:28, hallelujah. Amen. He, that is the God that we serve, hallelujah. As a hot amen. Amen. Remember the Bible says the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the, the living God. He gives us hope and a good. He gives us hope this morning. We do not need to fear the hard times for God is powerful working within our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. And He's an unlimited God. His resources is unlimited. And I wanted to say this morning as a servant of God, don't limit God to such. Don't limit God. He is a good God. He's a holy God. Amen. He's a holy God. That's one of his attributes. He is holy. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 2 verse 2, there is none holy like the Lord Jesus Christ. In this dark world, the holiness of God, amen, the light of God's holiness, the light of God's holiness, in this dark world where we know it is, let me tell you this morning, the Bible in the book of 1 Samuel 2 verse 2, you can read it at home. Also Numbers 23 verse 19, Psalm 50 verse 6, Psalm 68 verse 19 and 20, and also Psalm verse 84 verse, verse 11 and 12. Amen. The holiness of God, amen, is like a light shining brighter than all our pain and our sufferings. Amen, hallelujah, in this very, very difficult, very difficult time. There is power, amen, 
in the ability of God. The attributes, hallelujah, there is nothing that can stand in the way of God's character. Dear Bara Frinda, what is the call this morning? All those attributes, what was in God, all those attributes He poured into Christ. And all those that was in Christ, He poured into His bride. He poured it into His church. Hallelujah. What is our responsibility today? It is to go out there in our workplaces, in our communities, in our local churches, is to go out there and express the attributes, the qualities of God amongst our nation, amongst our communities, amongst our fellow brothers and sisters. Let's go out there, hallelujah. Don't be ashamed for the gospel of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Gaan vandag eet, is a forgiving God. Amen. God is a God wat vergewe. If somebody have done anything wrong against you, go out there today and forgive him. Forgive him this morning. That is one of the qualities of God. He's a God that can forgive. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you that you can forgive. Thank you for giving us a spirit of forgiveness. Oh God, as we start this day, oh God, your bride all over the world, may you bless them this morning as they go out there, Lord, expressing the attributes of God, expressing the qualities of Jehovah. May you bless your church. May you bless your bride out there today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.